What's up, YouTube? It is your boy, Limitless Mike. I'm back up in this thing. And I just wanted to come on here real quick, make a quick prediction, and just note somebody to really, really watch in this upcoming 2022 track and field season. Kind of highlight what he did in the 21 season. So, without further ado, let's get into it. So, someone to pay very close attention to in 2022 is going to be the boy, Michael Cherry. Now, if you're overseas and you don't know or you know don't not too familiar with Michael, Michael Cherry is a 26-year-old 400-meter sprinter out of the USA. He did his college over at LSU and had a great career. He was a two-time NCAA champion in the 4x4 um, and has been running on the pro circuit circuit for a few years now. Now, the interesting thing that happened for Michael Cherry in his career this year is that this guy put together a season of 14 consecutive 44 second 400 meter dashes that is crazy he started off the season at a 45 like back in May and then from you know the middle of May until September every race that he ran he ran a 44 second 400 meter dash 14 straight now that ties him for third all-time uh, longest streak. Uh, number one is Roberto Hernandez. He was able to put together 16 400 meter dashes under 45. And then um, Jeremy Warner, one of my favorites to watch. I, I grew up watching Jeremy Warner. He put together 15 400 meter dashes under sub 44 now he is tied for third and when i say he him i do mean michael cherry is tied for third with uh, some others but just to be on that list is crazy 14 44 second 400 meter dashes now his pr is a 4403 so that is right on the border of 43 seconds you know that the 44 barrier he's right there um, and there was even a lot of predictions saying, hey, maybe he'd be able to get it with so many 44s. Now, he didn't get it. He did compete at the Olympics this year. He was fourth at the Olympics behind Karani James, behind Steven Gardner, uh, as well as behind Anthony Zambano. So he was fourth, and that's extremely disappointing. But that's why I think that this coming year, he's going to be someone to watch. And he's truly in that kind of limbo state and what i mean by that is he can either it's either going to get a lot better or it's going to get a lot worse i think just from my perspective so with that even this year on the he he got a gold medal in the four by four he has wins over michael norman he has wins over Karani james um so he of course is going to have a lot of confidence coming into this season with that streak and with the wins that he was able to get now people that he would have to beat to be the olympic champion or to really not the olympic champion but to have a successful 2021 um be on the podium or be the world champion is he's gonna have to beat stephen gardner stephen gardner is this year's olympic champion he broke 44 seconds he had a 4360 or 4370 uh he's gonna have to beat karani james as well now karani is a little bit older so michael cherry he's 26 so he's kind of in that peak like i'm not i'm not young i'm not 21 but i'm not quite 30 now karani's starting to hit that 30 and to me i believe that he'll kind of begin to taper it down a little bit he karani's been the world champion he's been the olympic champion and i believe now this year he got bronze and i think he'll kind of start to taper back that that opens things up for michael cherry here stephen gardner he's the same age as michael cherry He's not going anywhere. The only thing that will really defeat Steven Gardner or kind of get him out of there is injury. And if he just loses focus, I know in the Bahamas, that boy has been going crazy, but I don't think he'll lose that much focus. So it could really only be injuries to me. Another person is Michael Norman. Michael Norman on paper had a you know you could call it a disappointing uh season this year he ran the 100 and he was decently successful in the 100 he didn't do anything crazy he didn't win a lot of races but he ran fast 
he ran the 400 and you know it didn't live up to the hype that comes along with michael norman because he's done it he's he's been out here killing it since he was 18 now he's 23 so every chance it's like oh michael norman's running there's so much hype but he was fifth at the olympics behind michael cherry so i think he'll come back this season with a little anger and a little vengeance now the boy the world record holder i haven't even spoken about him but he's still out here doing it wayne van Nerik, he's still out here so that's another person that michael cherry would have to beat um to really you know i i guess to beat to be number one at the world championships he's gonna have to beat all these guys as well as more um you know but even just a place he's gonna have to be in the mix with these gentlemen these are kind of the top competition from from this past season from the 2021 that he would have to get through to get you know get the goal now once again he was fourth at the olympics extremely disappointed you could see it on him like once he's done, he slaps the ground and is really upset with it. But, hey, fourth at the Olympics, you can't really beat it. Um, and, yeah, that's my prediction. That's just someone who you should definitely keep an eye on, who I think is going to be killing it as long as the mental's right, uh, the physical's there. He's right there on the border of the 43s and, you know, just one good race. He's into the 43s. And as long as if everything comes together at the world championships, he could be on top of the podium. Once again, he's been doing this for a minute. He's not a newcomer to the track game or to professional track and field. So he keeps that poise. He kind of has everything together. And I think this season going into 2027, he's or going into him being 27 years old. I think he's definitely going to be someone to watch. Um, it could definitely get that gold. We'll have to wait and see. We still do have a while, but someone to watch this upcoming track season is Michael Cherry. And if you haven't, like, if you don't know about this, if you didn't know about his 44 second streak, go back, watch some of the races, watch him at the Olympics. Um, just search up Michael Cherry track and field and watch some of those races. Cause once again, he got a lot of wins this season and, and ran under 45. 14 times in a row so go back and watch and y'all let me know what do you think could he be could he get to the top spot do you know anything about michael cherry could he get to the top spot y'all let me know what you think in the comments and one other thing if anybody if you made it this far in the video one i love you i fuck with you and i salute you i definitely appreciate that but two i just want you to check this out this is from a brand that I work on or work with this is limitless apparel limitless athletics here's some of our stuff I'm gonna leave it in the by my in the bio or I'm gonna leave it in this video here's some pants but here's all new gear that we're dropping we are a sportswear company I ran track for so many years so a lot of our stuff is based around track and field and running we got everything you need to just keep you cozy keep you geared up and keep you fly so if you're here just head over to the site check it out other than that i hope y'all have a blessed day peace i'm out it's your boy michael o and i'm out of this thing